This is Daniel Batten from Northern New England Conference illustrating the JUUL program. In this section, I'm going to illustrate the reports and graphs that you have available to you. You click on reports and graphs and you have a whole host of reports. The most useful, in fact, what you will usually present to your church board is the financial summary at the very top of these options. We can look at a number of different date options that we can look at month to date, we can look at fiscal year to date, we can look at last fiscal year, and you can see that each time we do the click on one of these, the dates change. We can look at even the previous fiscal year before that. We can look at the previous month, which was March. Um, or we could manually put in our own dates. We could put 10, 1, 08 through 3, 31, 09. So there, there's a lot of different options that we can do on the dates. In this case, the most interesting thing to me is to look at fiscal year to date. And if it looks like some of the names are getting cut off, we can come here. We can space this out so that we can see the names better. We can scroll down take a look at the giving and you can see how the total funds here balance with the totals of the bank accounts listed at the bottom here. We can also see that the conference funds have a zero beginning balance and a zero ending balance because they're all getting sent to the conference each time. We can also look at financial detail which you will see here. All these sub accounts and details of the various accounts then show up when we click on detail. So this can be a very useful tool. Any of these reports we can click on print and see a printed copy which looks very similar to this. We can also go to the contribution report and we can see a detail of the contributions that have been been made for the month of May in our sample database here and you'll notice what happened on one like John Smith here the money came in and then we reversed it out because it was a bad check so his actually totaled zero we can also click on any one of these and take a look at the detail of it and return right back to this report. Also we can look at a deposit report. Let's look at the previous month. We can see where we made the one deposit that we did and then where we had to reverse some out because of the insufficient funds. We can also look at a check report for the month of May and you can see the four checks that we wrote. If you're looking at a larger time period, we can actually sort the checks by date, check number, payee, or account. And this is useful because you can see it by separate account. You can see it also by how many checks did we write one particular organization or person. We can also see the transfer allocation report from last month where we transferred 400 to church school and $600 to church expense. And we can also look at account an account journal for the checking account. We could also look at this for any particular account we chose to. We could look see the account journal for tithe. We could see it for almost any of these really whatever you choose. We can see it for church budget. So, and then you can look at the receipts. This is usually something you're going to only look at at the end of the year, but you can look at it at the begin at any point in the year. And so you can see the, the contributions. These lines here represent um, page breaks and it will print out more than what just what it looks like right here on this screen. 
also we can see a list of the names that we have in our database overall here we could also look at a list of the accounts that we have in the database and you might want to print out a list of the names or accounts unless you don't mind looking at them